So we're working with strings, and one of the things that's really useful when working with strings is trying to figure out if you need, or if something you need is inside that string. Now, if the string is very, very short, uh, like the example I've given you, it's, it's pretty simple. You can look at it and tell what names are there. Um, but it's rare that we're lucky enough to work with something so very short. Um, so while I'm gonna use this very short example, imagine if you had, say, a million words you had to look at. So in this case, I just wanna know if the name James appears anywhere in my string. So you can see I've got my string here and I've named it James. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of code here. I'm gonna use a simple if statement to check. I'm gonna say if James, and let's go ahead and capitalize that, James. And I wanna say, is it in this string? Well, we have a word for that is if James in my string, right? Using techniques that we've been using for a while now, just simple. Uh, so I should probably go ahead and make that a, uh, a string where I won't find it. If James is in string, and uh, well, if it is, then I want to print James found. And if it's not, well, then I'm just going to say else print James not. Found. Now you can imagine the power of this. If this works, I don't just have to print a statement, right? I could do things with it. I could add it to a list. I could move it to another variable. Um, I could build entire program logic around whether or not something is found. So let's take a look at this. And uh, we can uh, get away, go away, print statement. You can see that sure enough, James was found. And if I took James out, then James is not found anymore. So you can see, I hope, how quickly you can build on this kind of logic to develop much more powerful logic for your own programs.